Hey guys, welcome back. So my neighbor is upstairs and he's dropping beats, child, okay? I think he's some sort of music producer making them damn beats and I'm just like, oh my God. Well, welcome back to the house though, um, where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. First things first, let's go ahead and get into some Housewives updates. Um, I forgot to mention in the last video that I believe the season 14 Atlanta reunion will be tropical themed, right? Because we know at this point in the season, the ladies are in Jamaica, so it makes a lot of sense. Hopefully the reunion will be a lot better than the actual show, the season, okay? Because we had a bunch of liars out there doing, um, interviews talking about this is such a great season and I was nervous at first because we didn't have Portia and Cynthia, but it turned out so amazing, Carlos King said that the lie detector detected that that was a lie. A big, fat, bald-faced lie. You lied. You lied. Okay, Carlos King went on to his podcast, if you did not hear, and basically said that I am effing pissed. Okay, these are his words, not mine. He said, I am effing pissed that the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta went and did interviews talking about this is a great season, and it's not. You lied. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, moving right along, even Marcella is speaking out on how she's never coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's trading in her peach for a mango, right? I believe a couple of days ago, Kenya Moore Hair Care did an Instagram Live, and she basically says that Marlo's getting on her nerves. Okay, I'm paraphrasing. She says she's sick of Marlo, and she believes that Eva Marcel should come back and snatch her peach back. Snatch her peach back from Marlo, uh, which I think is interesting. I don't think Eva sh never should have left. Right? Eva wasn't my favorite housewife, but I don't think she should have left. I don't think Claudia should have left either. And I can't stand Claudia. But I'm all about who's great for the show. I don't think Shamari should have left either. To me, Shamari, Claudia, and Eva Marcel were supposed to be the new wave of Atlanta. Not no damn Sonia Richards Ross and Marlo Hampton. But listen, different conversation for a different day. Um, Kenya said to her fans she wants Marlo to, or Eva to come back and snatch Marlo's speech. Um, Eva responded on the Ricky Smiley morning show and basically said, mm, ask Ricky Smiley. No, I'm kidding. She was basically like, you know what? It's definitely going to be a miracle if I come back. Uh, a Christmas miracle. Ain't no Christmas, bitch. Okay. She's not coming back. She basically said that she don't even like peaches. She likes mango. So there's that. If you're hoping for Eva Marcel return, uh, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. <laughs> Sorry. Moving right along to New Jersey. New Jersey, child. Okay, remember I told y'all that Melissa Gorga and the husband, Joe, they're upset at Teresa Judice because they feel like Teresa Judice has something to do with this rumor going around that Melissa was having an extramarital affair, kissing up on some man who plays some, some guy on Tyler Perry's The Oval. Child, I don't even know. Nick Barada. Bogorada, Bottega, something like that. And, um, you know, so now Melissa is done. She went on to the podcast because y'all know all the housewives have podcasts now. Teresa just signed on to do a podcast, two T's in the pod, reasonably shady. Everybody got a damn podcast. So Melissa went on to her podcast and basically said, I'm done with Teresa. I'm done with Teresa. And, you know, listen, great. Bravo, bravo, effing bravo, in the words of Denise Richards. So we're glad that you are finally done with this 13-year-old beef, 13-year plus. So we've just been watching it for 13 years, but I'm sure they've been beefing since 10 years before that. Like, we are so sick of Teresa versus Joe and Melissa. Like, it's old, it's stale, it's boring. I feel like something's got to give, you know, just like how they got rid of Kathy, Kathy daughter. Okay, they got rid of Kathy daughter and they got rid of the other family members, Dina and Manzo. Okay, married with Manzo, Manzo with kids, whatever the hell that woman name was. Listen, get rid of all the family members. We don't want to see. Listen, I want I, I want to see the Kathy, the Kathy sisters, child. I want to see the Richards and the Hiltons, honey. Now, that's who I want to see fight. If I want to see a family feud, I want it to be Kathy versus Kyle versus Kim, child. Okay? And then add in Paris and Nikki into the mix. And then we can get all the cousins and the nephews and the nieces and the husbands and the in-laws. And, you know, we can get Conrad in there, Paris's new husband. He's such a cutie pie. Anyways, 
So yeah, Melissa says she's done with the situation. Um, a lot of people interpret did her statement as you know her being done with the show and melissa came back out and said she is not and i repeat is not leaving the real housewives of new jersey is not leaving the real housewives of new jersey now demoy okay if you're a housewives fan if you're a real housewives fan and you're on the internet the way i'm on the internet then you know who demoy is demoy is saying that um teresa was set to leave up until this whole debacle happened but I'm not really believing too much of what Des Moines said because Des Moines said some other stuff that just wasn't true. So I don't know. All right. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, I'm going to come back and I think I'm, I want to talk about um, Big Brother 24. Oh, this season is exciting. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be because they started on this racist hate train. But I think the girls straightened them out. So we're going to talk about that. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to create a great day.